Hey everyone, in today's episode, we're going to learn how to use a combination of some of the Solvent scripts that we have learned in part 1, 2, and 3 to add variation to objects in our scene. It is important to notice that this is not a detailed tutorial of the scripts. For that, I'm going to leave the links in the description. We're going to start by selecting the plants and add them to a selection set, so we can quickly reselect them later. We're also going to select in the Use Center Flayout the Use Pivot Point Center. This option is going to allow us to use the pivot point of each of the objects and not a general center pivot point for all of them. After this, we're going to open the pivot placer script and change the pivot to the bottom of the object. We're going to open the object dropper script and select the ground. The direction is going to be minus set down and click the apply button. All the plants are now in the correct position, but we don't have any variation yet. We're going to open now the Selection Randomizer and Transform Randomizer script. For this type of object, I like to start with rotation. So let's change the low to minus 180 and the height to 360. And click the Add Set button to rotate it only in the Set axis. We're going to change the Scale Low to 80 and the Height to 115. And click the RXY Set button to scale the object with the same numbers in all axes. Then, we're going to change the selection to 60%. And using the Transform Randomizer, we're going to click in the Rotate section, the R Set button, to add some random rotation to each object. We're also going to click in the Scale section, the R X Y Set button, to add a random scale to each of the objects. We can repeat this process until we are happy with the result. We can also press Ctrl plus Set if we don't like the transformation or the selection. The next thing we're going to do is change one of the plant species to add some variation to the object. For this, we're going to use the Object Replacer script. We're going to select the new plant using the Pick Object to Replace button. And remember, if it's a group, we need to open the group and select the group helper instead of the objects. It is also important that the pivot is in the correct position. After this, we're going to select all plants using the selection set we created earlier and use the selection randomizer to select only 30% of the plants. As this is random, if you don't like the selected objects, you can press Ctrl Z and use the selection randomizer again. Then, in the Object Replacer script, we're going to keep all settings as default and press the Apply button. As we have the selection set attribute check, you can see that the new plant is also added to our selection set. Using this free script, we can simplify the process of replacing objects, adding variations, or even placing the objects correctly in our scenes with only a few clicks. The process is really easy, and we can use these scripts and techniques not only for vegetation, but for any type of object. This is especially useful if we don't have Forest Pack installed, or if we need to do some manual placement of objects. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.